Sterner lost the football. Oh my goodness! He stumbled and fumbled, and Billy Rome has recovered. I think the magnitude of of what happened when it happened in '98, personally, it really didn't register for me. Um, it was just to react the way that that I was I was raised to react and brought up to react, um, which which was stand up and face the crowd, face the, the media, and. And, uh, and talk about what just took place. It was a game. And, and uh, you know, over the next year, I realized real quick the magnitude of what had taken place and, and, and what it meant to be the Arkansas Razorback quarterback, both good and bad. The morning of that game, it was, it was a lot of focus, a lot of anxious to get back on the field, to basically redeem myself from what we did finish back in 1998. I think it'd be stuck in everybody's mind, all my teammates, everybody that was on that team in 98, as well as 99, but, but definitely on a personal level. Um, you know, that's, that's my definition of redemption. Whether it's 10 years ago or 10 years from now, that's the, that's the thought that'll cross my mind is, is that, that 99 Tennessee Arkansas game, no doubt. I remember the first drive. I'm not a nervous guy at all. I never, I don't, I never got nervous. I, I felt like I was always prepared. But I remember that that first drive of that '99 Tennessee game being so. I was so nervous to the point that I remember throwing a hitch to my right, which is a five-yard stop route to Anthony Lucas, and I guess he's six three, six four, and can probably jump 11 feet high. You know, <laughs> it's one of those where I almost missed that target. Yeah, I think it was. He kind of threw it outside, and I think I kind of just snagged it with one hand and brought it in to me, and kind of got the crowd up. And you know, we all was emotional. We was ready. We was emotional, but we were focused, and we kept everything under control. Second and eight, Arkansas at the Tennessee 23-yard line. We we had hit him on a, it. Was it race deuce, high pay pass, 26 double post X7 bend is what we had ran over and over and over again. And even if Anthony was covered, I knew I could throw it high and outside and he'd go up and get it. Poitras in motion, Sterner, play action. The one off of that play is race deuce, hot pay, pass 26, double post. And Anthony just doesn't bend to the sideline, he stays deep on the post. And we had ran that play um, probably about three plays before the touchdown and I hit the underneath post. And, and right, as, right as Emmanuel Smith caught the football, their safety hit him. And, and so I knew that guy was, was getting, getting down in the box. He was getting, he was getting tight. And so I knew that, that uh, when the, the next time that play came in, we were going to be able to hit Anthony over the top. Well, the next time it came in, uh, it came in with the X7 bend on it, and I, I switched it to the post. Look, pumps, goes down the middle. I was really excited. I was, I was like, I got to make this catch. If he comes to me, I got to make this catch. And of course, he kind of slow played the post route. I stuck on the post and just sh made a sharp cut, sharp uh, move towards the back back of the end zone. And he made a, he pumped Emmanuel Smith and made a great pass. I stayed in the backfield and, and, and hugged a, a few of the linemen that, that uh, I knew had, had been through some tough times with me. I think Kenny Sandlin was one of them. I'm not a really emotional guy, so it meant a lot for me to, to show that emotion at that point in time. I felt a tremendous amount um, of respect for him, and there was certainly a great sense of uh, vindication, I think, on him, you know, the way he felt about it, and, and, and rightfully so. He played fantastic that day. I grew up, and, you know, Clint Center is my favorite player. You know, he's obviously my, my, kind of my idol when I was growing up, and anytime you look back at, at big Arkansas games, it's always cool to see um, you know, the players that, that won those big games, and. And you kind of you kind of try to emulate yourself a little bit after what they were doing. I was so happy for Clint and just for him to get that burden off his back, leading up to that game and then finishing that game the way we did was just it was just great. It was great for Clint and great for the state of Arkansas. about five or six the whole stadium started rushing on the field and you know I was trying to find my brothers and, and find them and I was scared and uh, didn't really know what was going on so uh, so really the, it was an exciting but scary moment for me as a kid. I remember it was a really special environment. Coach Boyle spoke and 
It was just a, it was really just an emotional high. It's going to be awesome because of what you did today. It will go down in history as one of the greatest victories we've ever had. And I speak on behalf of every Razorback fan. Well, I, I had a throbbing headache after that game. Um, you know, I, I think it, I think it was I had a lot of family in town, but I had four roommates uh, who were all who all played. So. We went back to the house. I think Anthony, Anthony Lucas even came over that, that night. But then my mother, of all people, a lot of people out there know my mom, she was ready to go to Dixon Street. She had heard the fake, she had seen pictures. We didn't have Twitter and all that back then, but she had heard kind of through the grapevine that, that uh, they had leaned the goal post on the brew pub on Dixon Street. And so she was hell bent on going to Dixon Street. We did end up going down there and what an unbelievable moment. I got, the, I, I got a chance to sign the goal post and man, it was just a great moment. That's something that you will never forget. And, these fans in this state, man, they're unbelievable. And you know, Clint talked about there's only one Razorback, and man, our fans show up and show out wherever we go, and after that win, they did. It's the same star as last year, but it's a different winner and a different loser. Arkansas 28, Tennessee 24.